What's going on everybody? Welcome to another full day of eating. The theme of this video is easy to make meals that are high protein. Now today is a strength leg day, so I am going for a heavy set, I'm trying to see if I can push a heavier weight than I did last time. And if you watched my last video, the full workout, you know that I hit 275. So we're gonna see what I can do today. So I actually felt pretty strong in my warmest. Everything felt pretty light. So this first set of 285 pounds, as I'm backing up, I'm thinking, this feels good. So I prime my whole body, take some deep breaths, and then I go for it. And I was freaking amped. I got two reps of this. I probably could have gone for another rep, but I said, let's rack it. And let's see if we can go for an even heavier PR that I wasn't planning. So I load the bar with five more pounds on each side. This is 295 pounds, which means that I'm only a 10 pound plate on each side away from three plates, which has been my goal for a really long time. Let's see how I do. This one felt a little harder, but still went up pretty easy. And I just counted it, you know, right there. I said, let's quit while we're ahead. Next week, I'm gonna try to hit another five pounds on each side, maybe even that three plates, who knows? I'm pooped. Damn, that was so freaking solid. Oh, I'm so pumped about that. I've been able to make PRs every single week. I've just been feeling strong in my soul. I feel, I feel okay, just to bring a little hippie veganism into this, I do feel like you can manifest progress by really believing that you already have made the progress. It's just about to happen, but it's already out there and it's already been done. I don't know if you guys believe that too, if that just sounds a little hippie to you, but that's what I've been doing. And hell yeah, I knew I was gonna hit that PR today and then I hit even heavier one. All right, time to get home because I need to refill on a lot of carbs. Let's go. All right, it's been a while since I've been on this smoothie train, but now that I'm hitting really heavy weights, I need to get a lot more carbs in, and this is an easy way to get them in really quickly, so. I'm making a super simple smoothie. This is about two bananas frozen. About three cups of ripple milk. Another serving of the Vivo chocolate protein. So I'm getting about 25 grams of protein in there. And that's it. Like I said, very simple. Depending on how long you've been following the channel, you'll know the next step, which is as always, a bunch of cacao nibs because it makes it basically taste like you got chocolate chips in your smoothie. The smoothie is way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. This whole mason jar is about 30 ounces, so I've got some extra. Let me just take care of this. Do you guys ever do this when you have extra smoothie in your in your uh, Vitamix? It's really good though. Also, me and Simnet had a debate about this one time when we were living in the same Airbnb. What do you guys do with this? You just wash it or, or do you? What? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do, Derek? Derek? Derek does it. <laughs> All right, good amount of protein to get in me, uh, a lot of carbs. Uh, that way I can cook, but I've already got calories going into me. So now we are going to make a really, really good mixed bean soup that has a ton of protein. It's super tasty. It's also very easy. We're gonna be using it in an instant pot. That way we can just pressure cook it and it's all done. So it's all basically just one step where you're putting everything in there. If you don't have a pressure cooker, then you could simmer this and it would take probably longer, maybe about 30 minutes of simmering. Either one's fine. If you don't have a pressure cooker though, I highly suggest it. It's a lifesaver. Just show this for a second to show that we're sauteing them. Uh, seven to eight minutes, something like that. Two cups of mixed beans. One cup of quinoa. Three cups of ripple. Four cups of veggie broth. Two tablespoons of lime juice. One cup of nutritional yeast. All of our onions, mushrooms, and garlic mix from earlier. Now one teaspoon each of turmeric, cumin, chili powder, and paprika. Okay, 
Now we are putting it in the pressure cooker on low for 10 minutes. Oh my gosh, doesn't that soup look so fire? I just taste tested it. Freaking amazing. So I'm actually not gonna eat that soup yet. I'm gonna let it sit there because I wanna go for a run. I was gonna do cardio after legs today, but I forgot to bring any like protein, like a smoothie or anything like that. So I came home and had the smoothie instead. Look how pretty it is around here though. It has been absolutely gorgeous sunsets lately. So I wanna get this run down by the river uh, before the sun goes completely down. So, let's get down there. Let's get barefoot. And it's a ticket talking miser for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. And it's a ticket talking miser for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Oh man, that was absolutely beautiful. That river is so pretty, and this time of night is just so pretty in Arizona. Whew. I need to get back in my cardio game. I know a lot of you probably wondering like, why are you doing cardio when you're bulking? I'm not doing a ton of cardio, and it's not to lose fat, it's just to have a better cardiovascular system. One, because I'm an adult, and I want to live for a long, forever, if I could. Uh, and two, because the better your cardio is, the better your weightlifting is going to be, to a certain extent, right? Like, you don't want to do 45 minutes a day, but doing 10 or 15 is going to be a lot better than doing zero, especially when you're doing those higher rep sets of, like, squats and stuff. Anyways, I want to take you guys along with me. <sighs> I have to pee really bad. Time to go home, eat this soup, and put some more dinner in. Let's go. All right, so I am gonna put some food in the oven. I'm gonna have a bowl of this, but this is the remainder of it, which is one of the best parts about these giant meals that I'm saying it's even easier than easy because now we've got a ton of soup for the rest of the week. Just microwave that. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. So we're gonna do a super simple sweet potato tofu chickpea with a sweet chili sauce, homemade. So what we're doing is we're taking the sweet potato, cutting it down like this, cutting it down like that. That's gonna allow it to open up really easily after we cook it in the oven. We're gonna throw these in the oven at 400 degrees. I got a block of tofu right here that I just uh, strained and like pressed with a towel. We're gonna cut this into three layers like that. Thinner the better, it'll cook faster. Cut down the middle, and squares. By far, you do not need to be perfect with tofu. So now we're just gonna to toss these into the air fryer basket, like so, like that. And then I've got a can of chickpeas uh, that I just strained, and I'm just gonna put those in there as well. This is the lazy man's version of cooking this. If you don't have an air fryer, you can just throw all of this on a cookie sheet and throw it in the oven with the sweet potato. And the sweet potato is going in for an hour. These are gonna go in the air fryer at 400 degrees for about 25 minutes. It'll get nice and crispy, but not overcooked. While that's cooking, I'm gonna make a sauce real quick. This is super simple. You don't need to do this. You could just use a store-bought sauce. It would also be really easy as well. All right, so we're gonna make a sweet, spicy sauce. This is super simple. You could also make this in a larger batch just by multiplying all this if you wanna save it in the fridge. We're gonna start with two tablespoons of soy sauce, three tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, 
depending on how sweet you want it, between one and two tablespoons of some sort of sweetener. It can be just plain sugar, it can be agave, which is what I'm using right now, or it can be maple syrup. Any of those will work. I'm doing two tablespoons. So we got the sambal olek. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but this is the chili paste. This stuff's really good. I thought I had more of it. I do not have that much. So I was planning on using a tablespoon. Oh, we lucked out. I have literally exactly a tablespoon. Put that in there, and that is it. This is a super simple sauce. We're just gonna mix it up, and it will be done. So you can see this is a little bit watery. If we wanted to thicken this up, we could add about a half tablespoon or a tablespoon of cornstarch or flour, and that would thicken it up. This is really good for either like stir frying things, cooking it in it, or just dipping it into it, which is exactly what we are going to do once our tofu and chickpeas are done. All right, so I'll see you guys in a little bit once everything's done cooking. All right, this is what the sweet potatoes look like when they come out. Like you, like I said, uh, that little slit right there, you can just really easily open them up. And yes, I cook mine actually a little higher than I told you guys. I cook mine at 450 because I like that caramelization that happens. Super good. So one of these is Sammy's, one of them is mine. And this is something that you may have never heard of before with sweet potato, but it's something I freaking love. So I'm actually gonna take about two, maybe three tablespoons of peanut butter and put that inside. And then what I do is I kind of mix up the sweet potato with the peanut butter and it makes just this, ooh, it's almost like a dessert. It is very, very tasty. Sammy is not gonna do the peanut butter, she's gonna put a little stevia in hers, which is also really good. Now this is what the tofu and uh, chickpeas look like. If you've ever had these chickpea like roasted snacks, that you get from the grocery store, that's basically what they come out like. Almost crispy, but when you bite into them, they still have like a little bit of the chickpea meaty, meatiness in them. So not completely dry. And then the tofu has just got a little bit of a skin on it. So I'm gonna take about most of this, like three fifths of this and put it on my plate. I'm gonna take our little sweet and spicy sauce and put it right on top. Now, this did come out a little bit spicier than I was expecting, so if you aren't a fan of really spicy stuff, I would maybe do like a half tablespoon of that chili paste, but it is really good. And then you don't have to do this, but I did. Uh, I just got a, a mixed stir fry mix here of broccoli, carrots, a little cauliflower. Uh, I tossed this in a little bit of soy sauce. Took a couple minutes, maybe five minutes or so. And then we have it, a really hearty and very delicious, but also a good change of variety of flavors meal right here. This is really good. It's got a really hefty amount of protein as well. just importing some of the 360 footage from the run, but it's time to eat dinner and watch this show, which is so funny. Have you guys heard of this? It's called The Righteous Gemstones. It's got Danny McBride, which is just, he's just gold. He's so funny. And Adam Devine. We've been watching Euphoria, which of course, but if you're looking for something hilarious, like a comedy, oh my golly. It's so funny. Oh my gosh, it's funny. So we're gonna <laughs> watch an episode of this while we eat and then, uh, and then I got one last thing to show you guys, baby. All right, to round it up, like you saw, a big old plate of fruits. Got some raspberries, watermelon, Big thing of grapes and a gigantic, slightly spotted banana. Just trying to get some extra calories and some extra carbs because I already hit plenty of protein on this one. Uh, and yeah, I'm in the bathroom because it's the only place that I can shoot right now. This is my side of the bathroom. And that is Sammy's side of the bathroom. If it wasn't obvious, just giggling in the background. <laughs> I've been having Sammy religiously take the, the Vivo Life D3 and B12 because she doesn't really get it in anything that she eats. I have, as you saw in the video, a lot of ripple milk. And so for me, I already get a ton of that stuff. 
Uh, but yeah, if you aren't if you aren't supplementing with that stuff, you, it's very easy to get deficient in that. Even if you aren't vegan, a lot of people in America are deficient in those things, and that is not good. It's really bad for you. So yeah, if you ever want to get Vivo stuff, I say it in every video. You can get those using my discount code in the link in the description below. Anyways, I enjoyed taking you guys along with me today. Uh, on the last full workout video, a lot of you guys really appreciated it. So I think I'm going to do another full workout video next week, possibly a chest day, maybe a back day. Let me know which one you wanna see. And if you haven't heard me talk about it a bunch yet on Instagram, I just relaunched my vegan coaching. So if you want to one-on-one -on -one coach with me, send me a message on, on Instagram and you and me will actually talk about whether or not I'm the right coach for you. And if you're the right client for me, I can definitely get you some solid gains or Lose some body fat, depends on whatever you want to do. Anyways, I love you guys. I'm gonna eat this big old plate of fruits like a true vegan. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I love you guys and I'll see you in the very next video. Peace.